infrastructure is more than roads and bridges. It also includes Internet. Missouri is not ranked high when it comes to quality Internet speed. Well, the state program is getting more than a billion in federal dollars to improve connections. Our Missouri Capitol Bureau Chief Joe McLean explains one of the largest investments in the country. Uh, having high speed Internet is night and day for us, especially like we're we're uh, primarily focused on our Internet presence. Al Doan is one of the founders of the Missouri Star Quilt Company in Hamilton in rural northwest Missouri. He says his business has transformed through high speed and reliable Internet. Hi, I'm Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. You may know me from our easy to follow quilting tutorials online. The business's YouTube channel now has more than 800,000 followers, expanding reach and client base around the world. We could not operate if we couldn't have gotten the bandwidth out here uh, to satisfy the needs of the business. Last year's Bipartisan Infrastructure and Jobs Act provides billions to the Biden administration's BEAD program, which stands for Broadband Equity Access and Deployment. Evan Feynman is that program's director. There are a tremendous number of downsides for folks who don't have the access to the internet that everybody deserves. With this program, we're going to solve that problem. Based on nationwide FCC surveys, Missouri was near the bottom for access to high-speed Internet. And because of that, Missouri benefits from one of the biggest investments, $1.7 billion to the Show Me State. B.J. Tanksley runs Connecting All Missourians, the state's broadband endeavor. It won't happen overnight, uh, but we're going to work hard to get it to those places, and this will really give us truly an unprecedented opportunity. And this broadband fix for the future would not have happened without both political parties. Governor Mike Parson made a point to thank former Senator Roy Blunt, who broke with Republicans to pass the infrastructure bill. Democratic KC area Congressman Emanuel Cleaver also supported the package, but all other Missouri delegates, including Republican Senator Josh Hawley and Democratic Congresswoman Cori Bush, voted against it. B.J. Tanksley said there shouldn't be division in modernizing Missouri. We need to have every Missourian rolling as good as possible where businesses can pop up from anywhere and be competitive. It's good for our whole state that the whole state is as productive as possible. The state's broadband office also said that a state that has robust infrastructure, including broadband, is more attractive to businesses that potentially want to relocate there. In Jefferson City, Joe McLean, News 4.